I mean, technically, we share like how much percentage of our DNA of bananas? 95, so you could easily use a toddler to replace this. Hello! Welcome to the Fully Cooking Show. Fall Cooking Show. Fooking Show. No. So, we are going to be making smoothies. I got the recipe from Olivia Deandria. Olivia. In a video called Lazy Fast Healthy Treats. Which I thought was very suitable because this ingredient only needed four ingredients. <laughs> Wait, hold on. This recipe only needs six ingredients. Two frozen bananas, two cups of milk, one date, one tablespoon of peanut butter, and two tablespoons of cocoa powder. So we have to swap some of the ingredients because we don't have the ingredients. Number one thing that we had to change was that instead of almond milk, we are going to be using regular cow milk. There is probably no difference. I don't know. I hate the taste of both. <clears throat> the second thing, we don't have a date. But I used my A in GCSE maths to figure something out. There is 16 grams of sugar in one date. I have maple syrup. In 100 grams of maple syrup, there is 68 grams of sugar. That means in 23 grams of maple syrup, there is 16 grams of sugar. Therefore, I will be using 23 grams of maple syrup instead. Uh, number four, one tablespoon of peanut butter. Oh, I forgot to show this. And number five, two tablespoons of cocoa powder. Now this is where the, the third issue arises. We don't have cocoa powder, but with my brilliant mind of critical thinking skills, I have deduced that we can simply use chocolate bars and grind them into powder. Now, first step requires two frozen bananas, and I've done the liberty of putting them into the freezer. Why are they orange? Uh. <laughs> um. Wait, when they say frozen bananas, do they mean like bananas in the freezer or bananas just in the fridge? They meant cut up bananas. Huh? Like, you cut the bananas into dices, and then you put the thing to frozen it. <laughs> do you know how hard it is to peel it off now? No one told me that. No, they... <laughs> Good luck. Don't laugh, I can literally kill you with this. Actually, no, we should do the other things first, right? Because I don't want these to run out of cold. So they go back in the freezer. You need to put them in the fridge to thaw them out. No, it's, no, I have to thaw them. What if they get too hot in the fridge? So first we're gonna get 23 grams. Can you check the phone if it's still recording? Why do you think you're asking me? I can't see it because we're using the back camera. Just ask every five minutes. But what if I have such an amazing quip within those five minutes it's not recording? So first, 23 grams of maple syrup. I turn this on. Put this in there, we tare it, then pour it until it says 23. 3. 18. Oh no! God, God, do you wanna lick this? Do you wanna drink this maple syrup? It's an excess. Free diabetes. You can drink this. Wait, hold on. I still need to get rid of one gram, so give me back the spoon later. Oh. Oh no! no! You move in the Grand Knight marble top! Okay, 23 grams of maple syrup. We have that ready, I'll put it here. Next, we need peanut butter. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. Where is- thank you, thank you. <laughs> Give me the peanut butter. One tablespoon of peanut butter. So the only thing left is to grind the chocolate bar into cocoa powder. I'm using dark chocolate because I heard that cocoa powder is bitter. So this will greatly emulate the taste. Okay, now let's figure out how to get them into powder form. Mm, brother, do you what, know? You don't want me to speak? No, don't speak. Just do. Do you know that thing with the thing that you used to crush the spices? Mother and pestle. Yes. Where? <laughs> okay, listen. Mom is short, so it should be somewhere within eye level. Within the eye level of perhaps a 12 year old boy in England. I forgot to weigh how much 2 tablespoons of cocoa powder is, but it's probably all of these. 
People are trying to stab me here! <laughs> Oh, that jumped out. Brother, give me your honest opinion. Does this look like powder from afar? Looks like crumbles. Yeah, well, crumbles are just a bunch of powder solidified together. Wonderful. This is our cocoa powder. Whoops, is this in frame? I hope it is. If only someone would tell me if it was in frame. Yum. Next up. Oh, we're done. Okay, now for the frozen bananas. I was not informed that the peel had to be off, but we make things work. Oh, this is really hard to peel. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is a murder weapon. <laughs> so here's a little fun fact. We couldn't go out to get the ingredients we needed because we're in lockdown so we have to wait for the military to get them for us <laughs> should I put this in the microwave for a bit? <laughs> banana banana don't, don't touch yourself doing that you know this is supposed to be the easiest step which is just put bananas into the blender. I thought this was the one thing I didn't have to find a replacement for. I mean, I tried when we thought that we wouldn't be able to get the bananas on time. Do you know that the fruit that is most similar to a banana is a jackfruit? I mean, technically, we share like how much percentage of our DNA with bananas? 95. 95, so you could easily use a toddler to replace this. Well, a frozen toddler. A frozen powder, see? We don't, we don't have to peel that. We have peeled the top part of a banana. <laughs> why did no one stop me? It was 1 a.m. when I decided to do this, but why did no one stop me? Oh, it's coming out. Okay, maybe I should wait for it to thaw. I heard soaking it in hot water makes something thaw faster. Oh, I'll do that. Temperature difference. I thought I was being smart. At like 1 a.m. I remembered, oh my god, I'm gonna make a smoothie the next day. I should put the bananas in the freezer because they need frozen bananas. I should do that first so I don't have to wait. <sighs> Is this doing something? Go into the boiling water. taste good. I reckon we just give up and use normal bananas. I, I'm gonna need consultation from the mother. Ami! <laughs> Ami, a bit of an issue. Huh? You see, I didn't know when they said frozen bananas, I didn't know they meant without the skin into the freezer. So I put it with the skin into the freezer and now it's not coming out. Oh, very smart. Call me a Karen, but I believe that Olivia D'Andrea should have said to remove the skin first before putting it in the freezer. <laughs> well, she did. when she put the bananas into the blender, they were indeed skinless, but I just assumed that she got rid of the skin afterwards. <laughs> Wait, we have our first banana in. This is working out to be really working. Excuse you, I'm cooking here. Now I forgot to mention this, but the fourth issue that is this that is that this blender, I don't think it's made specifically for smoothies. You can see it's a bit yellow because my mom used it for garlic and turmeric and other spices, shallots. I think that's one of them. Will it be strong enough to blend a banana? One can only tell with time. We're good. <laughs> Now to get rid of the, the, the dead bodies. Two cups of milk. See, something I hate about this is that how big are their cups? Is the question. Hey, wait, which cup do you think? Okay, I'll just watch Aliza's video and let her do the talking. Maybe she have done that from the start. It's the unsweetened almond milk. And if you guys want to learn how to Okay, their cup looks like a tiny, tiny pot. 
The cup looks like a tiny pot. It's like, it's like, eh? Mommy, we took measurements for cup. Oh my god, so the cup is an actual measurement? One cup is 250 milliliters. Did you know that? I didn't. We will see if this is spoiled. See, I don't trust myself. Do you think this is spoiled? <laughs> the milk is good. It just smells like shit because that's how it smells. I'm gonna go to university for this. Okay, so... Red hello milk. But it's okay. Because we have another milk. How do you... How do you... How do you... How do you... Thank you! So Alexa put two of these into the thing. Oh! This can only fit one. One milk. Okay, so... My phone overheated because of how hot and sexy I am. So we lost some footage, but not important ones, just me screwing this on. So the only thing left is to use the blender to blend it all up. Oh my god, I almost killed you for a second when I thought we lost all the footage. How is it like that your oh god, the knife was in really close reach. There's four of these socket things, but only one of them works. And I don't remember which one. So we're just gonna use each of them and figure it out ourselves. Is this locked? Do you wanna lick the peanut butter? Come here. Pss, 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 pss. Come lick the peanut butter, boy. One of these is the imposter. Amogus. I hate myself. This one isn't. This one isn't. I think it's this one. Okay, probably not. The last one? Oh, no. Okay, so maybe it's this one. Help me. <laughs> Help me. I just want to make a smoothie, man. Stop, right? Okay. Now leave. Okay. Okay. Don't push on it. What if you break your hand? Very anticlimactic. Are you sure there's no button we can press? Mommy, do I want? Mom said there is no button. You push it in and then it blends. It's locked, right? Maybe you have to push it. Yes, you Yo, have to push it's it. not, it's really not chocolate. The chocolates are still in chunks. You can tell because it's not chocolate. No, it doesn't, it doesn't work that way. It has way. to become because but Alisa's is like really brown. That's because she used cocoa powder. Do you know why cocoa powder has a larger total surface area? Therefore, you can blend more evenly. So oh. I have to blend more. Oh, it's more cocoa powder. Okay, yeah, yeah. I just remembered the suggestion that mom had that we add Milo powder instead. That was what I thought in the first place. Okay, yeah, alright, Mr. Genius. Give you a PhD on how to make smoothies. Well, at least now it has like little chocolate chunks on it. Alisa's didn't have chocolate chunks in it. Then again, hers is supposed to be healthy. Yep, this is how it goes. This is very hard to close. <laughs> Took a bit longer than I should, should have. Okay, let's use the wine glass. 
after a long day home from work. You kind of want to just let loose. Okay, it might smell a bit like garlic because mom used this for garlic, but you're going to be the- Did you clean it before you did it? But it was already clean, it was in like the the, 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 the drawer, it was already clean. Oh. It was already clean! That looks like what I throw up after like a good night of drinking. Where are the straws? Damn. Oh, there it is. So, the taste test. The one you've all been waiting for. Once I put slow motion and music on, this will look so... It is pretty good! It's pretty good, right? Are you lying for YouTube? No lie for YouTube.